Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today, I have something a little different. One of my subscribers, Keith Cunningham, thank you Keith, has done a, is, well, we're doing a rock swap. And he sent his first. So this arrived about, ooh, two days ago. And it's just been sitting there and I've been anxious to open it, but I wanted to do an unboxing, so I needed to have time to do this. So I'm looking forward to this. I have no idea what's in here. I'm so excited to see what Keith sent me, and after I open this and make a video, I'm gonna be sending him the return box. I've got some cool stuff lined up for him, so stay tuned, Keith. Anyway, so let's get into it. Let's see what's in here. So we've got a list here of the different, thing he's, different things that Keith has sent me, that's awesome. That'll help because some of these I'm not familiar with. <laughs> okay. Actually, what I should probably do is put the macro lens on. That'll probably work better. Yeah, let me quickly put the macro lens on. All right, and poof, I have a new shirt on, long sleeve. <laughs> Actually, it was too overcast and you couldn't really see the stuff, so I waited for the sun to come out. Yeah, now everything should be more visible for you guys. Let's take a look here. Okay, first one. Oh, that looks like a beautiful agate. And good to have a spray bottle so we can see what this stuff looks like. Ooh, look at that. That is a nice looking agate. But you can see light coming through that thing. Very nice. I do like good agates. And that's a nice looking one. Definitely have to do something with that. Next is another agate. Very nice. Very solid color. You can barely see the little bands going through it. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's just a nice thick agate. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Okay, look at this one. This one's got some nice red jasper going along the bottom of it. And it's got a really nice pattern to it. Then you got some other jaspers and agates in there. You can even see some agate banding in there. That's beautiful stuff. Looks like maybe a vein of calcite at the top too. I don't know, a lot of cool stuff going on there. All right, this looks like a thunder egg from uh, Oregon. Cause that's popular, that's commonly what they look like. So yeah, that looks like a thunder egg from Oregon. Ooh, that's a nice looking agate. So if you look inside this beautiful one, it looks like it's got some carnelian in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Maybe we can see some light coming through it. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, look at that color right in there. So I kind of want to cut that one open. We'll see. I might have to do that. Okay, we got a nice little geode right here. Got some nice crystals in there. And yeah. Doesn't look like it formed in a volcanic unit. Maybe it did. I don't know, because I don't know where these are from, so... <laughs> don't know. But yeah, it's definitely a geode. Got some nice crystals in there. Ooh, that looks like a nice agate right there. Oh, that's really nice. Beautiful patterns in there. It's almost... I think it's almost what you call a plume agate. It's really pretty stuff, though. Okay, this looks like kind of a strange geode. Well, that is strange. This is a very strange one. Look, it's very kind of a tan brown, but it does have the botryoidal habit on the surface. And it's got this little layer here that's almost a bluish color. Huh, that's a very interesting looking geode. Oh, now this one's beautiful. This looks a lot like that crazy lace agate that we get here in Utah. It's beautiful. It's got a lot of color and pattern in it. Look at those circles there. That is nice stuff. Yeah, I like this stuff. There's definitely some things I could make with that. Here is a nice little agate. Probably from Montana. I've seen, I've seen a lot of stuff from Montana and this looks like it's probably from there. All right, what do we got next? Okay, so it's some more of that that kind of that brown geode we had so we had this one this looks like some more of it definitely you can see that 
botryoidal habit. Really cool. It's probably, it's, yeah, it's like a chalcedony geode. Just, just a piece of one. So it would have been bigger originally. That is really cool. I've never seen anything in Utah that has that color with the botryoidal habit. And it's very solid. Doesn't let any light through. Here is another agate. Probably another Montana agate. Cool. Let's light through. Don't know if you can see it though. Another Montana agate. I do really want to get up to the Yellowstone River and go look for some of these because I've never actually gone and looked for agates and wood and stuff at the Yellowstone River. One of these days I will because that would be a lot of fun. Oh, okay. We got another geode here. Uh, nice crystals in there. Another one of these geodes, very much like that one we saw earlier. Don't know how well you can see in there and see the crystals. It's kind of dark. But it is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know where these come from. Keith's going to have to tell me where these come from. Let me check my... Yeah, it might be from Indiana. So we got geodes from Indiana. So I'm not sure if it's the crystal ones or if it's those brown botryoidal ones. I'm going to guess, though, it's probably these crystal ones. Oh, this is definitely one of those geodes from Indiana or like those other ones. I'm going to say they're the Indiana ones. But that one hasn't been cut open yet. I'm going to have to cut that one. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a nice big piece of agate. Okay. Let's take a look at this thing. So look at that beautiful big seam of agate. And it looks like it's forming in a volcanic. You can definitely see something that looks very volcanic. Air pockets, bubbly. So yeah, definitely looks like it formed in volcanic rock. Oh, uh, that's really cool though. That's a thick seam of agate. And you can, and it's definitely letting light through. Don't know how well you can see that in there, but yeah, that's really cool. Here's a broken geode. Got some nice crystals all over that. <laughs> nice. This is definitely looks like a thunder egg from Oregon. You've got the nice classic volcanic look on the outside. And nice and full. Yeah. Definitely has got to be an Oregon thunder egg. Oh, this one's really cool. This is very green. Sorry, I kind of just quickly sprayed it. Very green. It looks like it has wood texture, so... Oh, yeah. I'm going to say this is probably petrified wood. I've never found petrified wood that's green, though. That's really cool. Actually, limb cast from Oregon. So this might be some green wood from Oregon? I don't know. Really cool, though. Some more agate. Nice. I like the little... I, I'd like, I like to call them craters. They look like craters on a moon or something. Okay, this is a very interesting looking stone. So yeah, this is very interesting looking. So it looks like it's fractured, so it was brecciated. So the rock broke up, and then it looks like it filled in with calcite maybe. Kind of a white-yellow calcite. It might be quartz. I, I'll have to test it and see if it's calcite or quartz. And the rock that broke up looks like it might be volcanic. I'm seeing what looks like little pink feldspar crystals through it. So this might be a brecciated volcanic rock. Nice little piece of kind of a brown colored jasper. There you go, some nice jasper. Ooh, here we've got some nice red jasper. So that's pretty looking. I like the uh, little splotches and patterns in it. Yeah, that's a nice jasper. Another nice agate. This one has some better banding than a lot of the other ones. Ooh, this one might be a nice one to cut. We'll have to see. Interesting, okay. So this is kind of probably one another one of those strange looking agates where you've got this like red banding of jasper, some nice other colors and patterns right in it. Yeah, maybe it's another one of those seam agates. Really cool. Well, hello fossils. So this rock's got some nice fossils on it. So you can see some nice crinoid stems in there. 
some broken shells kind of all over it. Looks like we've got some corals going through here as well. That looks like a coral. That looks like a broken shell right there. So you got some clam and oyster shells, foss, uh, corals, and crinoid stems. This would probably look very nice cut and polished. So this looks like layers of algae growth. So this could be a stromatolite. In fact, I think he said in this thing, yeah, he's got some stromatolites from Michigan. So that's probably a stromatolite. Looks like it. It's got the nice pattern to it. Ooh, this is nice. So this right here definitely looks like some fossil. So these are fossil corals. And if I remember right, I think these are what they call Petoskey stones, Petoskey. I'm actually not very familiar with them. I need to go get myself familiar with some, some of this Michigan stuff. But yeah, it's a nice stone though. Probably would, would look really nice cut and polished. This looks like one of those geodes that has kind of that, that tan colored chalcedony that's kind of botryoidal. This looks like a big one. So, ooh, I'm looking forward to cutting that. Okay, this looks like from this side, like a thunder egg. Hmm. And from this side though, you got a nice hollow pocket. So I guess you'd call it a geode, but it's got a nice agate in it. Very nice. Interesting. Okay, this is definitely very different from, from anything I've seen around here. So it's got this green. I don't know if that's like a serpentine. Kind of looks like a serpentine. Or maybe it's a green jasper. I don't know. And then the main rock, the host rock, definitely looks kind of like a granite or some kind of volcanic with pink feldspar and other stuff in it. I don't know. This is very different from things I'm familiar with around here. I'm gonna have to probably do some research on this one. Another nice agate, nice blue color. Now, something I kinda wanna do with this is, you see how it's got this surface that's got all kind of the red and stuff, and then you've got the nice colorless right through here. If you can cut it just right to where there's just a thin layer of this on top of this stuff, you can make it look like an ocean, like the bottom of the ocean or some cool landscape or seascape. So this looks like a good candidate to try and cut both sides to see if you can make that happen. Because if you can, they look so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna probably try that with this. Okay, looks like we've got some more red jasper. Nice, and it's got some little bands in it too. So this is pretty stuff. You could... Got some little agate and stuff. Here's another agate, probably from Michigan. Well, that's a very interesting rock. Looks like we've got some agates going on here. Got a little bit through here. And this is where it seems to get really nice right here through that. Cool. So it'll probably look really nice once you cut into it. Oh, another one to get cut open then. Okay, this looks like some classic thunder egg to me where it's got the nice layers showing where the water was as it filled in with the, uh, the quartz, basically is what it is, microcrystalline and got some nice agate banding. Yeah, that's a good looking thunder egg right there. Looks like another geode with the uh, kind of that tan colored chalcedony. Uh, here's some more of that nicer red jasper that's got, you know, those different colors of red that make a nice pattern. Another nice piece of agate. Once again, probably from Montana. Let's see if there's light going through this one. Yeah, you should be able to see a little bit going through it. <laughs> oh, that looks like a geode, probably from uh, Oregon, so it's probably a thunder egg. Oh, looks like another one of those that we need to cut open. Now this, this looks like a big chunk of pink feldspar. So this probably formed in or around granite probably in a pegmatite. So for those who aren't familiar, a pegmatite is where you get kind of a zone of the last little bit of magma as it's cooling underground, where you also have the gases which can form pockets. And that's where you can get cool crisp pockets of crystals like smoky quartz. But yeah, this looks like pink feldspar and looks like we've got some mica crystals in there as well. 
kind of muscovite and biotite. Got another nice little geode here. Looks like we got some nice dark agate banding along the edge here too. I wonder if maybe cutting along one of the edges would be really cool. Here's another one of those tan geodes I need to cut open. There's another nice piece of agate, probably from Montana. And once again, it's got some of that darker kind of red orange. That might be really nice. Ooh, this has got some nice layering in it. Nice banding. This could be a piece of petrified wood. Yeah, it's probably a piece of petrified wood. Those are probably the tree rings. So tumbled piece of petrified wood, maybe from Montana. Here we've got some of that material polished. So yeah, there's got to be something about this material. It's got to have a name to it. I'm going to go look it up. But it's beautiful with that green and the, uh, the red, which I think is feldspar. I, I'm not sure about the green. It's taken a nice polish, so maybe it is kind of a green jasper. Another polished stone. Looks like kind of an agate. A few different things going on in it. And now we're getting into the bags. So this bag says white skin agate from Mexico. So maybe pull just a couple of these out and get a feel for what it is. Okay, so they have this little white skin on the outside of it. That's probably why they're called white skin. And you get some little banding in there. Seem to be uh, mostly white though. Or clear. Do any of these have any color? Oh, this is a little better. Like that. So maybe those are kind of the pieces you're looking for. Agua Nueva Sea Maggot. Okay. Oh, I like that stuff. Okay, I like this. So the Agua Nueva Sea Maggot. Look at that color in there. It's, it's almost a purple. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that stuff and got nice big quartz crystals there too. Here's another piece of it. That is nice stuff. I really like that stuff. Well, look at that. That's some neat looking stuff. So mossy agate. So that stuff I've been finding over by Little Moab, I guess technically you could probably call it a moss agate. A lot of the pieces I have have similar patterns in it. Neat. Cool stuff. The last bag has a bunch of polished stuff in it. So this first one looks like probably a metamorphic rock that used to be granite because it looks like you got some biotite, some feldspar and quartz. So yeah, probably metamorphic rock. Some polished agate or chalcedony because I'm not seeing, oh no, there's some banding right there. So yeah, agate. Here's some more polished agate it looks like. All right, some more of that material polished. Once again, looks like a granite to me. Yeah, that looks like a granite. And the last few, ooh, some red in there. It's probably a red agate. It's got some little dendrites or moss that's red. Well, that's cool. It's probably a mix of things. Quartz, agate, jasper. It's a neat stone though. And the last one is some more of that material that it's got the green in it with what looks like volcanic with pink feldspar, maybe a granite. And that's it. So thank you so much, Keith. That was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. A lot of neat stuff. I can't wait to cut some of this open. <laughs> There's some neat looking stuff there. So we'll stay, look forward to that. And yeah, once again, thank you, Keith. I'll, I'll get you a box packaged up and sent to you as soon as I can. All right. Well, until next time. Remember, there's treasure everywhere.